Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports for Nag News. I'm Joe Borg. This is going to be a Thursday night football recap as Case Keenum, the Bakerless Cleveland Browns, were still able to, led by Case Keenum, defeat the Denver Broncos. So we're going to recap that game. Subscribe down below or up top at the end of the video on the easy-to-use widget if you enjoy the content. Case Keenum in this game did his job. He was the game manager you expect him to be um, as a backup quarterback. He had 199 yards, one touchdown, did what he had to do. But the real MVP and people that had him on the fantasy team were doing backflips and going nuts uh, yesterday because he obviously shined in his spot start was Dearness Johnson had 22 rushes, a touchdown, and 146 yards. So that dude almost had 150 yards. He was clearly the MVP of the game. He put the team on his back, and then surprisingly, Case Keenum even had seven rushing yards himself, but that was on four rushes because they're still trying to run an offense there, even though they don't have Baker Mayfield in. I think it was smart to sit Baker out. You don't want him to play through a bad injury, especially against a team. Nothing against the Broncos, but they're not the squeakiest overall team, like the most... Um, smooth overall find team as well so like you can beat the Broncos with your backup quarterback and that is exactly what they showed in this game as they were able to do that Austin Hooper also did solid for people that have him he had 42 yards and when it comes to the Broncos if you have people in fantasy Cortland Sutton with 68 yards there was really the only guy that would have, um, other than Williams, who did well for me, Javante Williams, he had 17-something points in the way they scored in my league because he had the receiving touchdown. Plus, he also still had 20 rushing yards, but they didn't get a running game going whatsoever last night against Cleveland. That's uh, the people that stepped up for them. Teddy Bridgewater did fine. He had two touchdowns and one interception. He got sacked twice. He didn't get help by his offensive line. He didn't get help by his running game. And obviously, the only wide receiver that really had a great game in the, was Cortland Sutton. And then uh, Williams was able to, on six receptions, have 32 yards and one led to a touchdown. But obviously, six for 32 is just all right. But the, having the touchdown makes that stat line look a lot better. Um, this was obviously a Thursday night football game. They tend not to be the most exciting compared to the Monday and Sunday night football games nine out of the ten times. And that's kind of what watching this one <clears throat> um, kind of was because it was a 17-14 game in the end. But what kept this game exciting was, of course, a guy in in um, Dearness Johnson being able to just come in, step up, and be the team MVP for one week as Baker Mayfield was out for the Cleveland Brown and able to kind of just take the torch and put the team on his back and have that 150. 46 yard game that he was able to lead the Browns to victory and he's the main key and the main cog that led them to that victory his longest rush was 20 yards and they had nobody else other than him step up in the rushing game and then of course in the passing game like I said Hooper was the best guy there 42 yards and then Jarvis Landry also had five receptions for 37 yards he led them in receptions as you would expect from a guy like Jarvis Landry and then Odell Beckham had two for 23 He's a guy that obviously um, works with the Browns, but obviously, as others have said, and I would agree, probably would get more reps and do a little bit better for himself elsewhere, but it seems like he likes it there and still isn't, like some people give him crap for, isn't asking out. So I don't know what they're going to end up doing with him, but in terms of him statistically, you'd probably be better being on a team that has a little bit more consistent of a guy that throws to him rather than spacing it out. But the Browns were able to win even as they are Bakerless and don't have Baker Mayfield, it was wise to be able to rest him for a week. This Denver Broncos team is nothing overly special, and they were able to beat them. They're now 3-4 and four to the Browns being 4-3 and three and 3rd in the AFC North, according to score, where the Broncos are 4th in the AFC West at 3-4. and four. So they were able to beat them with their backup quarterback, and now Baker Mayfield is going to have the time off that he needs to try to recover and come back and not be playing like Case Keenum said in his quotes about the game through bad injury just to practice like playing through pain just to practice you like that and you like to see that mentality as a team because it shows how much he cares but you don't need to be doing that this early on and you don't need to be doing that particularly against a Denver Broncos team that they showed which is why you pay sometimes a backup quarterback that's a good game manager like Keenum the money you do that they could win with their backup because he managed the game well he didn't make any stupid mistakes and then Dearness Johnson decided that he was going to have the game of his career and be the team MVP for the Cleveland Browns, and that's why they were able to get that win as a 17-14 to win, even without their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. So this has been a reaction to the Thursday Night Football game. Subscribe down below or up above in the Easy to Use widget if you enjoy the content. This has been Sports Fanatic News. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the NFL season.